Hi baseball fans, my name is Markus Heinzum. I'm the lead developer of Out of the Park Baseball and today I would like to show you a few of the new features of our latest version Out of the Park Baseball 19 which will be released on March 22nd. The first time you open up the game you'll see the main menu and one of the new things that probably immediately pops up is this area over here which is dedicated to a new online game mode called Perfect Team. This mode will be made available at a later date, probably during the summer, uh, with a free update. And we will definitely tell you more about it, but right now it's almost ready for beta testing and we are really excited about this and yes, it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, we'll tell you more about that at a later date. So let's load up a leak. Right here I have a standard MLB league and I've taken over the Boston Red Sox. And here is the new manager home screen, which now offers the ability to set up uh, different sizes of different widgets. Also the number of rows and columns can be defined. So it is a little bit more flexible than it was before. The first thing you probably notice is that we have switched the default color theme to a dark theme. And if you like to, or if you prefer to have black text on light backgrounds, just jump into the settings and you can change the skin here from dark to a different one. And we'll also have a third skin available at release, which will be a classic skin, which will be also a light skin theme. And also new is that we have now six different fonts to choose from and the default font is a new one as well. All right. Um, please keep in mind that this video is shot using a beta version of the game. So we may encounter a few rough edges here or there. Let's start playing a game. Let's first go to the scores and schedule screen. And today my Red Sox are playing the Baltimore Orioles. So let's click on manage. This pre-game screen is totally redesigned. Um, you get a better overview of the starting lineups and you can also compare each lineup spot and see where the weaknesses or the strengths of each team are. We also have little icons next to the player names. For example, here, Alexander Bogarts has a fire icon, meaning that he has been pretty hot lately. And uh, Dustin Pedroia has been in a bit of a slump here, hitting 173. Anyway, let's go to the team stats section. Uh, this has been redesigned as well. All the game options available are visible here in this screen, while on the options in preview screen, they are here in a, in a grid, so you may have to scroll if you want to change any advanced options. Okay, let's check out the starting lineup and my starting picture. Here the screen has been redesigned, so it has two different player lists, one for position players and one for pitchers. But you can still display the old customizable list if you like. Simply click on here, show customizable player list. And you have the old view where you can uh, sort by different statistics or by different ratings and also can customize the view using this customize function. Okay, but my lineup is set and I'm, I'm happy with it. And Rick Porcello is my starting pitcher. So let's jump into the game. Start game. Here you go. As you can see, we have totally redesigned the screen and it has a brand new layout. It has new widgets, it has a new color theme and overall it has a more modern look. So I can show you the different widgets here by default in the screen resolution. We have the out of town scoreboard, the different lineups and the hitter and the pitcher, but I can also display the team info pitch info, the fielder positions, and a weather ballpark info widget. Every once in a while in this recording you may see the screen flicker. However, this is because of some issue with the recording software. 
the game itself does not behave like this and there is no flickering. Okay, so let's disable a few of those widgets. I like this layout. And let's have a look at the different view options that we have in this new screen. So up here is a view menu. You can switch between the different views. Here we have the new modern 3D view. Then also available is a 2D view, which is this. It doesn't feature any 3D ball animations. And we also have the, the classic views available. So if you like the old school look of previous OTP versions, you can still select these. However, let's for this video stick to the modern 3D view, which is this one here. Next, you can disable the autumn setup of the widgets. If you do this, you can move the widgets around like this. And you can also increase or decrease their size. So sometimes it's useful if you want to see more information like this. But I like this size. So let's keep it that way. Okay, next, you can select whether you want to hide all the widgets during the game action. And you can also hide the entire top area during the game action as well. So I will show you this now. And let's see. Let's select pitch and see some action. So now, as you can see, there is no play by play visible and there is no top area, no widgets. And the play is about to start. Oh, there's a strikeout. Yes, we do have little players running around the field and throwing the ball. So these animations are new as well. We are pretty proud of them. They are not complete yet in this beta version. And we are also working on adding new animations after release. So this is a feature which we'll constantly improve. Okay, so let's disable the hidden top area so we can see some play by play. Okay. Oh, second strikeout. Procello is dealing. Oh, that's a fly out. It's almost like watching TV a little bit. I really love those little players running around and the new ballparks. We've really spent a lot of time polishing these and making them look as good as possible. So now let's see what my team manages to do on offense. So Mookie bats us up. Oh, just a ground out. Oh, that looks like a base hit. All right, single to right field. And Mr. Devers walks. Oh, we're putting together a little ready here. Oh, but our new acquisition, JD Martinez, strikes out too bad. And popped him up. So, no score this inning. Let's see what's going around the league in our out of town scoreboard. Ah, yes, let me explain this options menu. Over here in the options menu, you can uh, check out and change the game options or the out of town scoreboard and also set the play by play speed. Replay the last play by play. You can simulate the entire game or you can save this game and leave. Over here in the quick play area, you can click quick play and at bat like this. Oh man, this is blasted. Oh, and it's gone. Oh well. Okay, so the Orioles lead. That was quite a blast by Adam Jones. 
So, quick play. Yes, we already had quick play at bat. Then you can also quick play until a runner is in scoring position, until the next half inning, or you can select the inning you want to simulate to directly here in this menu. Your defense is set using these menus here, and you can switch to pitch by pitch mode with this button here. But I like to play in at bat by at bat mode. So and you can access the game log and the box scores over here. And up here we have the current game time or the local time. It's 1.33 here right now. So it's an afternoon game, as you can clearly see. The sun is shining. All right, options, out of town scoreboard. See, this has been totally redesigned as well uh, to match the new modern look. And uh, we really like the way it looks right now. So let's return to the game action and let's save this game and leave. Okay, so now we are back to the score screen and if we click on live coverage here, we can see what else is going around in the league. And we have a new setting for the simulation speed. For example, if you want to advance to a special or a certain game much more quickly than in past versions you can now select a factor 1000 or you can just go at a slow pace like I usually use a factor 60 so each seconds equals one simulated minute this is a fun way to just follow all the games in your league I really enjoy this mode I use it a lot Okay, but for today, let's just say, let's finish this, finish the simulation. Now it's creating new player pictures for the score screen, which we have also redesigned. As you can see, yeah, I won. Okay, so I came back, that's nice. So here we have the top three performances and we have player photos next to the notable players like the winning pitcher or losing pitcher or the player of the game here. And you can watch replays here, you can watch a 3D highlight reel or check out box scores and game logs. So yes, that's the new in-game mode and some of the new redesigned screens. I can show you a couple new ones, a couple more. Let's go to the statistics screen. So this has been totally redesigned. Or let's click on a player and check out the new player screen. Let's select the reigning MVP, Jose Altuve. So we've cleaned this up a little bit and it has a new design. We really like the results. And now you can use the up and down cursor keys to scroll between players if you have selected a player from a sort of a player list. So for example, if I go here, I can use the cursor keys to scroll up and down, which is quite useful. Then we have new scouting reports on players. All the text is completely rewritten and we also have scouting graphs of um, the major ratings and you after you have simulated a few years, you can easily check out how the player has developed over all those years, which is very useful, especially for young players. Let's check out the team home screen. So yes, that's the new look and feel of Out of the Park Baseball. We hope that you enjoy it. And in the next video, I will show you more of the advanced feature that we have added to this latest version. So, see you soon.